but it's actually it's UTX Untamed Rush Man with the watermarks playing the reg TDM on Dome and I'm, I switched it up I, this is my new route that I run on there this is like my opening route uh, it works for me uh, maybe you know these guys weren't the best of players so maybe I don't know it, but it, it worked and I'm basically the way I'm running this map because this map is so like chaotic and crazy I'm basically trying to stay on my own I'm trying to stay away from teammates the most the, you know as best as I could uh, the, you know it doesn't always happen that way it's a small map you know you're gonna be running into your teammates regardless but I'm just trying to basically um, tone down on those encounters you know and that's a good line of sight you know if you guys are looking for like lines of sight because that's what I'm doing now I'm starting to learn lines of sights on the maps and it's helping me out it's helping me out um tremendously like I'm, I'm seeing a dramatic change from when the game first came out and granted the maps you don't know the maps and real quick the scorpion I can't wait till I get the extended max for it because once I do that I'm gonna run a free for all with that I'm gonna try to get a gameplay with that on a free for all I want to see if I can do it consistently because I don't know man I just don't know why they made the scorpion a secondary the scorpion it wasn't that it needed to be a secondary it just needed to be buffed up in black ops in call of duty 4 it was perfectly it worked perfectly fine you know if you knew how to use it uh all the smgs are great in this game i just don't know why they didn't leave the the um the scorpion as one of one of the smgs and you could argue and say, oh, but the PM9 is trash. I don't really feel that gun is bad. I was playing with it the other day, and it's really not a bad gun. The problem with it is the recoil. Even with kick, it has like this random, has this random like spike that it just like bounces up even with kick. And it's like, damn, like it, it messes you up. But it's just a real good close quarters gun. You know, it's not something like... You know you can hit these mid to long range shots with um a lot of times and look at this my awareness is getting a little better you know i'm playing a lot smarter now still doing my untamed rush thing but i'm just playing with a little bit more awareness and i think that's what was missing with my you know that that was a part that was missing from my game it was just that black ops was so easier because people were camping so it, it made it a lot easier to just run around recklessly and do whatever i wanted you know, a lot of people could agree with that because a lot of us played like that. You know, like my, my, you know, one of my previous commentaries when I said we got used to playing aggressive and things like that. But, the, yeah, the PM9, man, it's not really that bad. It's just got a real erratic recoil that it gets annoying sometimes. And at times, you got to keep your engagements to a one-on-one -on -one and keep it moving. That's why I said I like it for free-for-all. And if you guys didn't see, I got tagged. Now... What I've been doing, what I've done all day, because I got tagged like four or five times today. And what I did was, once I got tagged, I just went aggressive. Like, I played aggressive. Just real, real, rushing real hard because I'm on the map. They know where I'm at. And most of the time, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be coming for me. So I just get real aggressive. And if I die, I die. If I don't and I do good, so be it. Uh, luckily for me, these guys weren't paying attention. I don't know if we had a counter... Um, I don't know if we had a counter UAV up or not, but I, I noticed they weren't even turning around when I was coming around corners, and I was tagged. Once you get tagged by the recon drone, you stay like that till you die, you know? So, and this is another thing. This is getting real annoying. Um, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see my PM um, Jive to see if, if this was one of the issues that he was having, and because he said that there was something about a ping test, and that's a good spot right there, too. But um, he was saying something about a ping test in his latest commentary, you know, to do a test on your ping and to fix it because your connection might be, you know, there might be somewhere where the communication is messed up in your, in your network. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I PM him and check him, you know, check to see if uh, if that fixed this issue or if this is just, you know, Call of Duty server issues. And right there he got me and it, I, I was kind of like pissed because... He called me so fast, I had no damage, and he, he just shut me down so fast, I was like, damn. But, you know, it happens, and whatever. It's still a good game, and I, I can't get mad at that. I was just a little upset because it was so close. And, um, oh, what was I talking about else here? Oh, with, with the, the PP90, the PP90 real quick, it's, um, it's basically, it's a great gun. But to me, the MP7 outshines it. Because the MP7 is so accurate at a, at a range that um, the PP90, you miss a couple of shots. And right here, 
juggernaut. I'm too fast for you, dog. I'm out. He's trying to chase me, you slow fuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting real comfortable with the maps. I'm starting to get real consistent with, with, with my scores and, you know, just doing well all together in, in, in certain game types. You know, I was wondering how, how's, that, how's the game going for you guys? Like, how, what are your favorite maps? What, um, you know, are you, you guys feeling real comfortable with all the maps or is it just certain maps that you really enjoy and there's some that you just rather not play? And also, I got Saint Row, Saints Row. I'm probably going to do play the story. I was just wondering if you guys maybe want to see me do like a walkthrough. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>